so cold. I have no idea where my tripod is. And I am freezing. And it's really early. It's too early. <laughs> When I got up, it was too early. I've had a really busy week um, driving quite far for courses every day. So I decided to take Friday off because I was doing like 10, 11 hours every day. And it was a bit much. Oh, I can't steer. Jemima, we've only gone this way once. <laughs> Jemima's a bit like, I don't know where we're going. And she feels a bit fresh, which is fun. <laughs> As you can see, I have gone for warmth and visibility over fashion this morning so i apologize for that but i thought it was about time that i sort of do a like tack up and ride with me so that you guys can meet jemima now i do want to warn you before you watch any other of my videos that i am 24 years old i I'm just learning to ride properly now. I had a little bit of an education when I was younger because my aunt is a riding instructor and I was able to share a horse on her yard. Had a bit of education then, really, really enjoyed it. My cousins both compete to quite a good level. Well, not so much anymore. They've kind of gone off and sort of done some other things. Um, but they did used to event. And I used to just, that was all I ever wanted to do. I was just so, so, so jealous. And my family just aren't horsey at all. And I just didn't have that opportunity, unfortunately. And then I went to university. I played a bit of horse ball because the riding lessons, I told them I'd only been riding for a year and they wouldn't let me even trot. And I just thought, 
don't want to be doing that. It's not, I don't feel like I'm progressing kind of thing. Um, and so when I finished uni, I then sort of had to beg, borrow and steal any ponies I could. And they were sort of just green ponies that they really just lacked the foundations anyway. So we weren't really going to be able to, no, not that way, Jemima. <laughs> they lacked the foundations. So I wasn't going to be learning really all that much. Um, in the time that we had and I just kind of fell in and out of horses I have loved some amazing horses but I've never owned and now I have found the most amazing share pony so I don't own her I do share her but her owner has her owner has had a baby sorry I thought something was coming behind us and she just doesn't have as much time to sort of be riding and Jemima needs, needs work or she gets a bit um, bored apparently. So she already has all the buttons. She is amazing. I am having weekly lessons on her and I am determined that I will be, oh, something is coming. Which way? It's going away. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is a bit bitty. Um, Jemima is amazing, obviously has all the buttons, so I'm having weekly lessons on her so that I can get my level of riding up. And yeah, she's just cracking and I'm so excited for what we're going to do. So I just thought today I've got my GoPro on and I would take you with us. I hope you enjoy it and please in the comments remember I'm 24, I'm only just learning now. I'm not a beginner beginner, but I am completely a novice. So things are going to go wrong, it's going to be a bit messy, but I want to record all of my progress with Jemima because she's just amazing and I can't wait. I swear I thought Friday morning, taking the day off work to film this was a good idea because I thought it'd be a nice quiet Friday morning. Nope, nobody works on Friday morning apparently, just me. Every time I've gone to film this, I've been interrupted by a leaf blower, a chainsaw, a dog, some golfers. <laughs> I don't even know what that was, so I apologise. <laughs> We're a little bit spicy this morning, thankfully Jemima's spice level is definitely pumpkin spice latte, so we don't have to worry too much, but now I'm getting interrupted by a plane. <laughs> Ooh. 
can eat that. <laughs> Come on. Let's go this way. We stumbled onto a Christmas tree farm. Yes, oh, we have. These look like Christmas trees. Because they're very close together. Like They seem like they'd be too close together if they were just replanting. But they're very big. Maybe they're too big. been gone. I got to the yard at half past seven and it's now 11am. I'm not entirely sure what time we left the yard but I think we've been on like minimum of a two and a half hour hack. wants to go out. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm going to quickly groom her up and chuck her 
her out because I feel a bit bad. But she's, she's got her own. She's like, put my pyjamas on, please. enjoyed this tack up and hack with me it was a relatively chill one because it was really cold out and the ground was quite hard so i was a little bit concerned obviously about doing too much canter or trot work i also need to get a bit better with the gopro because it seems that i only actually captured one trot the rest i just captured all the plodding um so that I'll need to work on um, and I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope it was just a nice chill little forest walk that you guys enjoyed. But can't wait to make some more videos because yeah, there's some exciting things coming up. I'm, I'm excited and thank you for watching. If you could like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that and maybe leave a comment below, but I will catch you guys in the next one have a good have a good day bye